Lord Megatron. Where is the cube? The humans have taken it. You fail me yet again, Starscream. Get them! Okay, so here is a look at my current collection of the official masterpiece movie Decepticons. And uh, like a lot of my videos, I'm making this to have reference of my collection, but also because I want to just have something for my friend to refer to when sorting out uh, my collection. And also, I want to just share some of my thoughts on uh, these figures and this collection. So, starting off, I want to go over Megatron and Starscream. And just uh, the issue I have with these two. They have a lot of uh, stability problems, uh, specifically like standing and their feet. And what prompted me to make this video is because this blackout, they did a really nice job on the uh, stability. I just don't understand why they couldn't have uh, put in more ratchets and uh, on these two figures. But, let's see, just pointing it out, um, this Starscream foot, unless you tab that in, uh, it's going to have difficulty st um, standing in place. But even when you do tab it in, you can see this swivel. I mean, it just... This is why he, he doesn't stand very well. See, he just kind of topples over. So that's uh, one of the big issues with this. Um, but they did put some ratchets on the other joints, you know, like uh, his leg, his knee, um, his hip. And then also, you know, they was his arm articulation was limited, but now thanks to DNA design, they did give you an upgrade so you can uh, better articulate his hands. Hopefully, DNA will do something to fix these feet. And then the other issue is just the uh, paint finish. I mean, when you look at this, I mean, it definitely looks really nice. But when you compare it to the KO third party, <laughs> you can see how they will actually spend more money to uh, give you that nice metallic finish. But here's just a more detailed look at them from like the back. Um, and. Uh, I missed out on getting the uh, KO version of the Movie 1 version of this Starscream. And um, I'm not sure if I want to pick that one up when they finally do remake it. But just want to point out that's just uh, one issue with the Starscream. And the Megatron, even though this looks nice. Uh, this one also has a lot of uh, stability issues and kind of afraid to do it with the feet but same thing. You see this? Um, so that's very very disappointing. Um, and then uh, just trying to lock these knees and articulate it. It's very difficult. So basically, it's you just have to get them into a nice pose and do a lot to get both of them to stand nice and, you know, it's okay. I mean, this, this does look uh, pretty nice. Just 
just getting another look all around from the back. And now I'll just um, quickly go over the bear, the black, the blackout, because this one, as you can see, <laughs> look at that. There, there is tight ratchets here, so you can articulate this. There's a lot of joints here. It's very tight. That's the only exception. The blade doesn't securely lock into the hand very well but um, this one was made very really nice and again I just wish they would have done it with those two and now one of their earlier releases which was the barricade this is a really nice figure um, it's just very sad that you did not get a frenzy with this um, so you know you have to use a frenzy from another figure which uh, I'm using the human alliance uh, frenzy to as my masterpiece and also I want to point out the scale is a little off now you just imagine if that was jazz and Megatron ripping him in half he should be obviously a little bit smaller. So that's why this barricade goes with my oversized collection with a very large Megatron. But um, that leaves me in a dilemma with an incomplete official set. But now I want to go over something else, which was I did buy actually the stu oversized studio version of Starscream so this one is not as cart movie accurate but when you look at this you can see what I'm talking about like how the third party they do s such a nice sir job on the paint finish look at that metallic finish and uh, this one there is no stability issues. It's very tight joints. Uh, so this one stands very secure. And uh, really cool accessories. I mean, they, they just, the KO, they will actually do more to make the, improve on the figures. Which raises that question, do you actually want to spend money on these uh, official when most likely they're going to make a third party that's much better but it's not always that great because here is the honey badger or um, Megatron which now I'm going to point out some issues I have with some reviewers because they, a lot of them, they are not very uh, honest in their reviews. Um, they, so when they're reviewing this one, they're making it seem like it's so much better. I mean, this one, I mean, they, some of them, they did point out how it is a little bit darker, if you can see. Uh, but more specifically, the issue is uh, this one also has a lot of stability issues. It's, um, I mean, this thing just has trouble standing. And uh, in my opinion, it's, you know, I don't think the paint finish is really all much, that much better than the official. I think that's really just an aesthetic choice. And so now I'm kind of stuck with this one. But I'm thinking I may um, actually give this, give this one away along with this really nice oversized studio uh, version of Starscream. And just keep the official. And the official barricade is going to go with my oversized so 
that's that I just wanted to do a quick review just uh, going over some of the masterpiece movie Decepticon figures <laughs>